Ah, back again. I got to turn on the little jacuzzi time again. <coughs> Part two. I'll close on my uh, morning, morning philosophy. Ah, Jacuzzi Diaries. Part two from the Mary Jane uh, controversy. What's my next thing about? It's millennials. When I was growing up, okay, when I, when the generation, when the baby generation that, okay, okay, uh, got older, Generation X stepped in. Only a few of us. Only a few people from Generation X. Are, Generation X doesn't, you know, we call it, you know, we're only a few people. Baby boomers were the, uh, most of it. Are more popular than us. But they were aging. So Generation X filled whatever the baby boomers have left. And Generation K X carried what the, the baby boomers, are, like we call us, that learned from the previous generation. War, peace, and things like that. And also, well, uh, you know, we have more open mind. So we follow the, the values, okay? You know, go to school, go to college, you know, establish your family. But when economic uh, model has been turning, in the, in the 90, in the late 80s, there was a recession. Then we recovered around the early 90s. Then the generation actually that enjoyed from, nine, from 94, the year 2001 enjoyed the best years of the best years of economic things because you know we call us you know uh, we, we, essentially we had more startups the is doing good Clinton was the president of that and uh, he kept the peace around the world because he, you know being a Democrat de Democrat of that he fixed uh, we call us he didn't want to get involved with uh, with uh, you know uh, he shrank you know with the with, with the world affairs he shrank uh, the military. So we call us that. So everything was more turned inwards. So most most of the young minds did that instead of going to the cold, to the we call us the researching how to blow up, blow up the world, was was turned into researching on how to uh, you know was was put in the private to the to the private world. So we you know, we call it we start startups. We started uh, we call it our own companies, and uh, and. And Generation X, and you know, also may get married early. We get married. Most of them get married early. I noticed that. I never got married because the reason is that I was still young. You know, I was a late bloomer. I can't handle myself back then. But I was going to school, and you know, I had no clue. What to do. I was still living at home, so I had, I had my shit out together. Nobody, nobody does you know, until okay, mentally. But back then, at that, you know, people thought, oh, I got it. Okay. We, you know, we call it that, you know, you know, good timing right now. I can buy a house, and they did, and they fathered millenn the millennials. The millennials that are more spoiled than Generation X, okay, because millennials that, you know, we call it that, you know, uh, are born in the information technology, information world. So we call it, you know, imagine that you're born in the world that was iPads. There is a, uh, we call it a uh, Google, and because the schooling is different because the we call us the gender when my my when I was being taught that in, in, in high school back then I was taught by Vietnam veterans and a mix of people from the 50s and the 60s and 70s then I had the, the liberal wing in my uh, which was very nice because back then you know, the hippie teachers and the military teachers uh, veterans they got along strange huh so that, we got a balance of good education from both ways. We uh, we call it that. Uh, I still remember my teacher, Mr. Martin, was history class. His father was a classified, uh, you know, was a classified officer, okay, in the military, okay, and he was a hippie. So, but he taught me good values also. It's strange, huh? He taught me good values, and uh, because my home teacher was Mr. Marion Barron, lieutenant. For a lieutenant in the army in the Korean War, he didn't want to talk about it because I know it's terrible. He did terrible things in the Korean War to that. It's war, but through his values, he taught me, you know, this and that. He because he gave me good strength and uh, what to be what to, what to aspire to. Okay, and uh, and uh, Mr. Because Mr. Martin opened my mind about liberal values. My geometry teacher was Mr. Martin. Mr. Mr. Martin, I'm sorry. See, I'm getting older. Mr. Miller, 
Mr. Miller was a, we call this, was a paratrooper, was a pararescuer for the Air Force. He taught me about being strict, okay? So, I got, you know, I got, so I got, I got both sides of being, being open-minded. Now, the millennials got a one-sided, you know, got a one-sided teaching, because most of the teachers did that, they, they, they went under, never went through hardship, never served in war. But they went to school then, who, who mostly did that are, uh, are what I call this, uh, you know, uh, you know, we call us that they taught them only one way. Most teachers coming to uh, to high schools then right now, or I you know, they never had a varied life. They went to school, went to high school, and went straight to college. So they never, uh, they never traveled. They wasn't traveled, but they never experienced hardship. You know, started their own business. So it's a, it's mostly like in a, in a straight college straight to uh, work pipeline, and and that's why it was me. We were you know well, we were taught that the college is the way until the economy changes. Now, when the economy changes, to that two things happen: divorces, people lose losing their houses, to that, and also to that in a way calls the value of things. And that's the thing, the value of things. And that's the thing. After, on my third, uh, it's getting too long, I'll do my third videos on the value of things and the millennials. Okay, here we go.